In this episode, we're going to actually build Legos. Not build with Legos, actually 3D print our own Lego blocks. Now, I studied 3D printing or read as much as I could long before I ever got my first 3D printer. I wanted to know everything I could. And it seems like it's been around now for a while to me because I've been reading about it for so long. Yet I still run into people who don't know what 3D printing is or have really no good understanding of it. So when I explain to them I have my own 3D printer and I can print anything in plastic, they go, what kind of plastic? And I tell them, well, there's different types, PLA, I use ABS. And I get that look. What? And I can tell they don't know what I'm talking about. So then I tell them, well, it's the same plastic they use to make Lego blocks. And then their face, oh, okay. And then after that, everything starts to make sense. So you can print your own Lego blocks? Well, today, I figure I'd do that. Well, it turned out to be a lot tougher than I thought it would be. There's so many variables in how you position this thing, whether it's supported, whether it's not, whether it's printed on its side, on the bottom. I squish it down on my bed so it sticks. That's wrong. You can't do that with Legos. I finally did it, though. It took me several prints, and I finally got the perfect Lego block, and now I know how to do it. I'm going to show you now. Just like any other 3D print, that first layer is key. And with a Lego block, you really want to print it straight up. And you don't have to worry about supports if you do that. And then you get the nice top, which is very important for getting these things to snap together. But if you print it like that, and you have your bed set like I do, where it really smushes down that first layer so it sticks, then you get a smushed bottom. These edges are all smushed, so is the little circles, and then I got to come in there and clean it up with a knife. And I did that, and it worked, but it was a big pain in the butt. There's, there's one, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all gouged up, and that's been cleaned up. I tried printing with supports, which also prints a raft, so that's no good. That's even more cleanup. I tried printing on its side, every which way. I even tried printing it upside down, and I put little knobs on here to design in a crush. That still didn't work. It, it, it really came out bad. Well, then I saw that someone used hairspray. Maximum hold hairspray. This isn't the brand they used. I couldn't find the exact brand they used. It was a Walmart brand. And they showed that they were getting incredible adhesion by using hairspray, this, this maximum hold. So I tried that. I adjusted my height of my bed so the plastic was just barely laying down. And, you know, not smushing at all. And it looked really good, and it was sticking. But then when I pulled it off the bed, I noticed that the edges had all lifted. It didn't hold it. In fact, this whole side of the Lego block warped up because it didn't hold it. So that tell, told me that this hairspray, and I got a different one, this hairspray, which is also an extra strong hold, neither one worked. And what you do is you spray it on the bed, just like instead of glue, you put the hairspray, and then run your print. So this is the glue that comes with the DaVinci, is Uhu. I found that's not as good as this. This Avery glue stick. You want washable glue so you can wash it off the bed, but this stuff sticks really well and I get good results. So I tried this with my settings way up and that's when I got my good brick. No warping, no smush. This thing came out of the bed perfect. And it snaps right on because a lot of these have a good top, just a crappy bottom, but it snaps right on tight. No gaps, no warp, in all different positions. So that's the key to printing this thing. Now let me show you what I mean by barely laying down plastic. 
because I've showed in the past how I like to squish the plastic down but when you've got a print job like this you have to adjust your bed so it just barely lays the plastic down so let me show you now the first thing you want to do is put a good amount of glue where your bricks gonna be and it's best to have a clean bed but you can see I got plenty of glue there and this stuff is sticky very sticky now I like to put glue right here where the strip goes because I don't want that strip coming off and moving into my print. Now I've zoomed in here so hopefully you can see that that plastic is not even touching the bed. I mean it's basically falling out of the extruder and then landing on the bed. So I'm not squishing it at all. And as you see it drift away here you can kind of tell that it's if you just extruded plastic it'd be the same diameter, same width. So now it's going to do the same thing for the brick. It's putting down the outline and you can see it's the same diameter as the test strip and the circles are going down and hopefully this thing's sticking pretty good. I can actually pause this and check it out. Now I canceled the print because I wanted to show you how stiff this is. I had to really push in that but it did pop off. You see these rings? I got to push on them to get them to come. So those weren't coming off easily. So that glue worked well. And you can see there's no warpage yet. I mean if I printed it for a while I guess it could warp but we'll, we'll print another one. If you can see that well enough or not. But it came out nice and square. The center discs are nice and round and not squished. So here's another finished brick and you can see it's very smooth there's no warping the sides look good the top looks good and the bottom all the circles looks good and even inside the square edges you can see the little uh, bumps that are designed into the brick. Now there's a little sagging at the very top without supports but who cares that's the top of the brick. I didn't design this block. I actually got the design off of Thingiverse and I'll put a link to it in the description below. Now I'd mentioned the user's name but I can't even pronounce it. It's got a bunch of X's and W's so I must have made up the name. I don't know. But I'll put that uh, down there so you can print this yourself. So there you have it. Lego blocks. Printed out of Da Vinci. Now I should point out that if you noticed I had these printed in the center of the heated bed and that's because I get better heat in the center part of the heated bed than I do on the edges. If you print something and you're on the edges or you print several items and you're near the edges the ones on the edge are probably going to be the ones that lift off because it doesn't get as hot on the edges as it does in the center. It's just there's just no way it does. So on something like this this is very critical and you need it to stick and you're relying on the glue and the heat put it near the center so that's it that's building Lego blocks if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel please subscribe that way I know you're watching see you next time